Welcome back. Compass School Binghampton has found a creative way to teach some of their students some nonverbal communication, like teamwork. Well, the method is music. Jordan Foster joins us live in studio with who is helping make all of it possible. Jordan, good morning. Hey, yeah, good morning. Before we go there, though, uh, Yvonne, I know you were doing some, some, some verbal communication. If you want to take it over real quick with a quick song, but Prism Ensemble uh, works, uh, uh. <laughs> works with the youth development using the sounds of classical music, classical chamber music, that is. And they're currently working more than 40 schools nationwide, and they hope to expand that to more schools here in the Mid-South by the beginning of next school year. If we don't give our students the opportunity, the exposure, they never know those hidden talents that they possess. It's why Principal Barbara Asamota with Compass School Binghampton has partnered with Prism Ensemble to teach kids the art of classical music. I was extremely excited um, because music um, it feeds the mind, the body, and the spirit. What started as an elective class quickly turned into an after-school program after the number of students interested increased. They are picking up these instruments for the first time in many cases. Gavin Wigginson is Prism Ensemble's executive director. Every Tuesday and Thursday, kids kindergarten through eighth grade learn how to play instruments like the violin, trumpet, clarinet, and the flute. They even provide the instruments to the students. We also offer them music theory, so the the thought is that they not only play the instruments, but they learn how to become um, literate in terms of reading for their instruments. You know, it's a skill that they can take and it transcends wherever they desire to go. It's something professional musician Journey Hogan says she can relate to. She was first introduced to the violin while she attended Peabody Elementary. Putting them in schools is a huge step into creating the public exposure for kids who may not see them at home or you know, on television and things like that. They say programs like this continue to help diversify the classical music industry one new artist at a time. Anybody you talk to just about has a bit of musicianship in them here in this city and so uh, the doors are open. It's just creating the exposure and opportunity for people to find them. One must see themselves in the positions that they desire to um, be in one day. And Prison Ensemble says they will be back at, uh, at Compass Community Schools being Hampton next semester, continuing to teach kids music. But they also have a two-week summer music program open to all kids if your kids obviously can't make it to that school. You can find more information on that over on our website, abc24.com.